two mega pops, a achievement in Balloons Tower Defense 6, where you need to place a tower down and it gets the majority of the pops in the rounds of chimps between round 6 to 100. So in this case, in this video, we're going to be doing this challenge with the Balloon Solver. Within the past few updates, this individual, this corrosive, gluey tower of sorts, has have some recent updates to it so that's going to be very good in our expedition towards more greatness and proving to the world that certain obscure towers can reach that greatness so let's get started with a submarine and we're going to get this guy to submerge his support at some point once you have the money placed down Geraldo we're going to be needing Jerry's fire in order to help out with the balloon solver at certain points within this run let's plonk down our glue gunner right here and hopefully we'll be able to get to corrosive glue as soon as possible because at this current state it cannot pop anything which in some cases is incredibly useful because in some cases you don't want a tower to accumulate pops but you want it to act as support and without our vulnerability to lead balloons have been solved by round 15 we can get the longer range and advanced intel for our submarine and this is going to even when we get submerged in support this is going to stay unsubmerged for a good while just because on its own at the moment the corrosive glue glue gunner cannot handle most of these rounds just because of the vast quantity of balloons that there are on the field at any given point in time but once it reaches its fourth upgrade it can actually be able to handle the rounds on its own so let's get twin guns and then from there we're going to be getting submerged support afterwards so we can be relying on submerged support for decamification in the early round but we will eventually get a 420 monkey village so that this thing can permanently target camera balloons a eh? but also so that it can get all of the primary um, primary buffs in which the monkey village can provide excluding 520 because 520 would then take away vital pops next goal is glue splatter just handing all of the shit once they've all these balloons can be a big issue i mean imagine if we lost to this red balloon there we go we did not lose to a red balloon at this given point in time not within the next oh actually i think the uh, oh if it didn't pop a lot of these pink uh, white balloons to transform down to pinks i would say i think because they're white balloons i think the glue gunner will be able to handle them on their own since they spawn two pinks but those two pinks would be glued because it passes down because of one of the, of the glue slope sorry glue soak upgrade is able to pass down the glue from child to parent essentially whenever they get popped so like that it is able to handle rounds with just white balloons and black balloons very comfortably. Even despite this early stage of the game, it's able to handle these just fine. So, what does round 25 bring to the table? Round 25 brings... Oh, yeah, we're going to need that out because this is just going to encourage regrow farms. <laughs> yeah, corrosive glue on its own is a nightmare against regrows. So, we're going to need to... Hmm, can this handle them just fine? I think it can. Hold on. It might require some support down the road, but Geraldo will be able to clear up the rest of the trash. Let's see, first... Uh, will we require airburst? No, we'll go to glue splatter. Once we begin, will we require airburst arts of this? I'm thinking, nah. We do not require so. We do not need to, so... Okay, so let's get the glue gun to get as many pops as possible in this round. And then we'll go up to first at a certain given point in time, like now, for example. And hopefully we'll be able to go for round 27 without too much of a worry. Let's see. Here we go. Ooh, that's a little bit tricky, but nothing we can't handle. Nothing we can't handle. And now it's round 28. And the glue gun will solve this by itself, don't you worry. Yeah, they've gone down to blue balloons. Okay, now that the regrow is able to come out, let's unsubmerge the submarine because this will just encourage so many more balloons to spawn and it's not even funny. 
Let's see. Go to... No, not that. We need to go to first. Oh, this could be a nightmare, actually. This could be a nightmare. Because this is probably going to grow back... No, it's not going to grow back. Lovely. Oh, that's a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. But we're going to go up to a balloon dissolver during this point of the round. Or some point. This point. There we go. Now we'll be able to go through two layers. Which will be able to actually prevent our regrow issues if we just have the glue gunner out rather than both the glue gunner and the submerged submarine at this point in time and glue one additional balloon per shot which is handy the more the merrier they say and in this case it is definitely the merrier so is able to handle this round okay is able to glue all of the balloons i think we're moving at such a rate that it's able to just about handle them you'll be able to yeah, I think we'll do this no problem. That's that round solved. Even rainbows are no problem, so that's all good. But the amount of pink balloons could be an issue. So round 35 is... It's mainly the speed of the pink balloons, which are more of a worry than anything else. Speed is sometimes a bigger factor than just raw RBE. Round 36, we might need the assistance of a submarine once again because of the amount of pink balloons there are. How fast they go, not be able to glue them all in time. Let's see, Geraldo, you're providing some advanced intel. Soon we'll be able to unlock Balloon Liquefier, which actually deploys a small glob on the track every time a balloon is fully popped. So that's really brilliant, actually, because that actually, in a way, increases pierce and the amount of balloons that can be globbed at any given point in time. Okay, so that does two per line attack, which is nice. Let's see, ceramics, no problem. Oh, we should have done balloon liquefier sooner, but not to worry. So now these drop these little blobs down. Next up, we're going to be going towards the monkey village. And unlike other runs, we're not going to place down a alchemist at all, because it doesn't really benefit from it that much. Like it increases range and increases attack speed a little bit. But it only really increases the like the first i don't know how to really describe it but when it initially deploys the glob it only increases that and not the continuous amount maybe i'm wrong but i don't think it benefits that much from a alchemist of sorts so let's see is it going to get fully popped yeah it's able to get fully popped and now this will solve the rest of our issues just like that one thing you don't want is for the ceramics to get too far on the track and this is now pretty self-sufficient. We don't have to worry about unsubmerging this for the rest of the video. We're now at a 420 monkey village, which means this gets extra range, pierce, attack speed. I mean, pretty much anything aside raw damage, but an increased amount of. Like, it gets an increased amount of popping power if you go to 520, but then again, that would just take away pops. And we don't want that. We don't want Pops being taken away from our lovely glue gunner over here. Just watch as the balloons get solved into the ground. Sorry, dissolved into the ground. Round 50. More Merv Clash balloons are on a route. And still a bit of a struggle. If we don't get these blobs in time, then... Okay, so that's a bit sooner than without the primary mentoring involved here so it does help out dramatically when it comes to range attack speed projectile speed which is another big factor oh one remains one lonely little ceramic now into the nothingness don't you just love a bunch of ceramics getting solved into the nothingness well this tower can do that really easily and it's just one of the best towers ever to deal with ceramics this is a ceramic killing machine. But do you know what else is very good at killing ceramic balloons? Yeah, that's right. Paragons. But we can't afford that. We can only deal with what we have within chimps. And with the rules that we set ourselves with in order to complete a certain task. Now we have the balloon solver. So now that we have the tier five tower, what do we do with the rest of the money that we are going to have? Well, first things first, we're gonna get ourselves a few 
Ninja Sabers so that we can slow down the travel speed of all of these balloons. So that it has more time to be able to pop those pesky Merle class balloons, in particular round 97, which is going to be our biggest issue. Not round 98, round 97. The sheer amount of RBE from a fortified ZMG is going to be extremely intense. So we've got our first balloon sabo up we're going to aim for four so that we have a 100 percent amount of time on the field which we can have the balloon sabo ability active and oh my goodness sakes just look at these ceramics like look at this line here like not even the impact from the balloon solver itself is killing all those huge amounts of ceramics it's the globs that are left on the field that are killing them fortified moabs no problem our second balloon sabo is up going to eventually get a moab eliminator to be able to count around 100 because the balloon solver despite its name is not able to solve the bad within this radius it needs some support despite first strike capability being cheaper than the moab eliminator i find this to be a less controlling way to be able to damage the bad because it's able to fire at any given point in time because of its unlimited range and its unlimited range is automatic and not like manually pressed to depend on the ability and where it is within the map at any given point in time because you could deploy it here you could deploy it there as long as there's a balloon on the field the ballistic missile will always be able to hit that balloon unless of course it relies on advanced intel which could be a thing it can only have unlimited range if it has advanced intel and there's a tower nearby with sufficient range on it so that the advanced intel can, can then trigger the ballistic missiles but i just find the submarine the first strike capability one to be a less controlling way whereas a the animator if you place upon an object then the only time it can attack is when you activate its ability I think around 98, the balloon solver's attack speed, even compared or combined with primary mentoring, is not going to be enough to be able to pop or stick all of the male class balloons on that round. So I'm thinking overclock is going to be a necessity in this as well. Just watch round 76. A round that is usually a huge problem. Just watch this. It was magic almost. Round 78 has been solved. Let's see if round 79 is going to be of the same fate. And I think it will be. These balloons just do not stand a chance. These BFBs do not stand a chance. And eventually the fortified BFBs will not stand a chance. This is the problem to all of our... Sorry, this is the solution to all of our problems. There's no point using the balloon sabo whilst it's out of the range of the glue gunner. Let's use the sabo within the range of the glue gunner. So that it has as much time as possible within the radius of the glue gunner. So that then it's able to apply its acid, its glue as much as possible. Was it in one of the previous games of Balloon's Tower Defense where the glue gunner was called the acid gunner or something? Or something along the lines of acid? Who knows? Useless balloons knowledge. Useless balloons facts. What do you buy? Flare balloons. Do we need more? I wonder if people would like a series on useless balloon knowledge. I don't know. <laughs> Just sounds like a dumb idea on paper. Here is some dumb ideas presented. Number one. This kind of combination of two towers is associated with certain content creators. And there's nothing you can do to dispel that factor. God, look at it. It globbed all of those. Or nearly all of them. That's what Piers, but this thing has. It's brilliant. We have four ninja sabos on the field. Now there is no way in which they'll be able to escape our grasp. But there is one more player that I would like to deploy on the tap on the on the track. And that is within the name of a Moab shove. But we're gonna be deploying that later on so that it does not steal away too many pops. 
Super Ceramics, not a problem whatsoever. They are nearly instantly removed from existence. I wonder if this will be able to handle these CMGs, or will we require a Moab shove early on? I don't think so, as long as we apply Ninja Sabos is 100% of the time. There might be a little break to... Oh, I deployed one of them too early. Okay. They're going to come out at speed. There we go. Now it's slowed down again. And the idea of having four is so that one of them always has like 25% retention before it regenerates again. So then another one can be summoned, and then another one can be summoned, and then another one can be summoned. And by the time the fourth one ends, the first one that you deployed down will be able to regain the ability to use its ability again. So that it stays in this little square for a lot longer. There we go. And our problems on that round have been solved. Lovely. And Pierce is not going to be an issue with four ZMGs. It's just been able to be able to glob them all. That's the only slight issue we've got going on here. So we're going to use that again. Hopefully slow these down. Trickle them down. We are going down. We're going to need to use the overclock because of a sheer amount of balloons at times. We're very close to a Merb Alinimator. But should I get a Merb Shove first before the Alinimator? Or shall we risk it? Oh, I forgot to apply that. And uh, get it later on when we really need it. With the fortified ZOMGs. Hmm. You're forgetting to use it at times. It's really annoying. Uh, okay, but now I'm moving slow. Can't really tell when these are speeding up again. There we go, they're sped up again now. Oh, they're slowly wearing through the health. Slowly but surely. Okay, they're sped up again. Okay, now they're now... See how all of them just instantly went to VFBs? It's because the Pierce is just a huge amount that it can actually get for all of them. Which is great. So the next um, fully ZMG round is round 97, actually. So we're going to have no issues with this. And apply the ninja sabos at all times, then you, as the player, will be able to always get the DTs when they're within the square itself. Although these two are still a little bit of concern about if you don't apply the ninja sabos as balloon sabos, whatever you want to call them, they're both the same thing at the end of the day. Aside from this title, officially being balloon sabo. And I say ninja sabo because it's a ninja and it's a sabotage kind of tower slowing down everything on the field that's not a boss or a bad we are close to oh we can actually afford to be a mobile animator now lovely round 90 is coming up which means it's our first taser dts with the balloon solver let's see how it fares on so slow them down and yeah, no problem whatsoever. You want to know how I got these scars on these watermelons? This guy. I think the best indicator actually as to when a Ninja Sabo's ability has expired is when the clouds around the Ninja Sabo disappear. So that's a, probably a best, the best indicator actually ever. Let's see, round 93. A few more DTs spawn out. So let us use the Balloon Sabo's as ability. I keep switching up their names just to trick you all. And they are just melted into pieces. They yeah, will be able to put down a mob shove at any time. The shoving ability is enhanced by having the faster rotors and the IFR. Is it called the faster rotors? No, bigger jets. <laughs> oh, that's razor rotors. Bloody hell. How did I manage to screw that one up? But again, it's probably not the most inconspicuous miss... Um, or miswording or such stuff. So, 1.13 million pops so far, which is a nice number. We want it so that this gets as many pops as possible. And uh, the, all of the DTs on the next round are going to be a non existent issue. It's maybe the sheer amount of RBE that's an issue for the lovely. Oh, is this going to be able to solve them all? Yep, it did. It sure did. Lovely. Round 95. All of these are no problem. Oh yeah, purple balloons can be quite fast at times. But again, 
Any balloon can be stupidly fast once it reaches a certain round. Okay, so Ninja Sabo at work. Hmm. You have now... Oh, nearly run out. I deployed too early, but then again, better. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to say better early than late. <laughs> uh, some, in some cases, that is very bad. Just got to resume. She's left to solve, and then round 96 will be a non-issue. But next round is one we're going to be upgrading to the Merb Shove. Um, I think we're able to get a second one of these down let's see that leaves yeah more than enough we'll have two overclocks on the field have 100 percent retention when it comes to the old overclocky stuffy stuff so let's see once that reaches halfway then we'll apply the other overclock so there's always on at any given point in time so there's always doing it it's always applying that sweet old overclock. Apply hmm, another one of those. Oh, this is getting a little bit tricky here. Should I restart the round? Hmm. No, I think we're good. Yeah, we're definitely good. Okay. So, we're going to try this as late as possible so that missiles from this do not impact the DMGs for as much time as possible. But I think that time might be now, actually. So, let's put it around here. It does kind of slow them down. We're going to need them to be slowed down as much as possible. Now they're both kind of clumped together, which is nice in a way. So, when's that one going to run out? Because these are going to take a long time to pop. So, we're going to put it in this little square now. Uh, apply that to you. We don't want any missed opportunities. That temporary speed of rate of fire can be very, very helpful at times. Okay, so boy, another ninja sabo on the field. Boy, another one of those. Let's see, is it going to run out? I thought I should have had these more spread out and away from other towers, just so that it's easier to see if um, the effect has worn off or not. But in some cases, it can be in a spot where it can actually pop balloon. So, in a way, I should just look more for the sake of not um not missing out on anything so my god this is still a long way around way away and this has accumulated over a thousand pops already which is a little bit scary but not too scary so this is now leaving the uh, vicinity of the shaft so let's just now put that back on board mm. ninja sabo with combination with a shove is what we're gonna need for survival because this is taking forever to respond. So let's see, put that there. It doesn't stop them, but it does slow them down because it's trying to, it's trying to shove two of them at once, which means it can only shove one at a time. So they're always gonna make some kind of progress along the field. Hmm. What if it's a strategy to keep one of them permanently behind and then just let the other one go. But then again, the pierce is not an issue with the balloon solver. It's just, it's just needing to be able to do enough damage over time. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Ninja Sabo in place. Put that over there. When are you going to run out, little one? When are you going to run out? Don't want you to run out too quickly now. Let's see. Put you over here. Oh, that's, that's applied again. That's no good. That's no good at all. Okay. Ooh, a little scary. Hmm. Okay, babe. Now, okay, we're, we're kind of dealing with this. But at the same time, we're not. Are they going to... You see how close some of them got to the end there? That's no good. Okay, that has been adjourned. So now let's just place this within the square itself. And then from there, we'll be able to achieve greatness. Let's see. Using Ninja Sabo now that they're within the range of the glue gunner. So we've got no dealings with fortified ZMGs, but these are still something that we need to be very careful of. Deploy another Ninja Sabo. Uh, deploy another one of those overclocks. 
Hmm, what else can we place down the field? Oh, we should be using the Ninja Saba again. It's still really hard to indicate which one of these has run out. And when they don't run out. An issue. Issue of a century. Issues without an answer. We are nearly there. It's just these ZMGs left. And uh, these are less of an issue than the round 97 ZMG since, well, they're not twice as beefy, bulky, beefy, whichever the one would imply the correct terminology. Right, that's about there. Hopefully we'll be able to get this done and done, diggity done it now. Round 99 is coming up. Okay, let's apply Jerry's fire. Let's apply that as well. And let's apply these as well across the field. So we just shove back whenever we can. Hmm. Slow them down with a ninja saber again. And round 100 is here. Let us use the, um, the eliminator five times. Oh, there we go. That one there. Or should we use it four times? Mm, honestly, let's see. That is nearly 8,000. I mean, what can we do? I think we could afford another one time. So that's 6,000. That's 8,000. Yes, my friend. In this has got oh, 9,000. Hmm. I think we should leave it just to be safe. Even though that doesn't do anything to that. I don't know why I did that for. Let's see. All that again. We might need to... Oh, there we go. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, slow those down. Hopefully they'll be able to pop. If not, we might need to retry this round again. No, that's not going to be the case. Not going to be the case whatsoever, although these ZMGs have made it very far on the track, which is a bad sign, because they, soon these are going to be out of the range of the uh, the glue gunner, which presents to us a few problems. Hmm. Maybe we need another means of slowing them down. But at this rate, I'm not too sure what else I can do. Hmm. They're still, yeah, they're now no longer taking damage. And we still need another 20,000. Let's see. 22,500. Yes, oh, 24. 28. 31. Yeah, it's still looking very tight when it comes to pops. And we still need to bring these down. I wonder if we need to employ a snowstorm. Just so that it slows them down a bit more once they're out of their, um state of badness. I don't know why I'm flying that. Don't make any sense. Although what doesn't make any sense is me not deploying out any sabers. Hmm. Yeah, this might require a restart of a round and be able to time our mobile animators a bit more promptly. Because I think I did forget midway through the round and that is what's making the difference when it comes to these pops. Okay, we've done the first one, but still, things are pretty hectic. And it would really help if you were to respond. Respond, 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 respond. Respond. I don't think we're going to make it here just because of it. No, I'm not risking that. Another issue I've had is that throughout the game, I've not been using the Jerry's of Fire sooner, so therefore... Other towers have been able to get more pops, which is a little bit an annoying side, but it's just one of these things we're gonna have to live with. So needs to deploy five of these as soon as possible. Okay, I don't think they're being shoved back, but the glue is gonna be able to solve them just fine, just like that. But then there's these. Okay, I think it is time for one of these. We don't necessarily need Cold Snap for this. But we do need the other things. Okay, so they're 
kind of crippled when it comes to speed, which is nice. So apply the snowstorm, not for pops, but for slowing down. Sometimes uh, we can sacrifice two pops. Can sometimes do it, not all the time, but sometimes. Sometimes it's better than no times. Mm. We need it within the field of this glue gunner for as long as possible. Another snowstorm so it stays even more in the vicinity. Okay. That's done that. Okay, this is going much better because the ZMGs are no longer going around to the other side of a track, which was a little bit of an annoyance last time around. Okay, those can those can actually stay there, which is okay, let's let's pull this up here actually. Okay, they can do that. Oh, we got it. It's lovely. Don't matter what happens now. Although I do prefer if all of them were popped by the solver. Just in case of any pesky wheat grows. Which will be very annoying. Let's see. 2 million 3. I think we're definitely safe. And there we go. The last pop was by Geraldo. And for all our efforts, we got a basic bitch-ass super monkey. But that is absolutely fine. We've got... Okay, there's literally no regrows in there whatsoever. Probably three of them at the very most. But 2,003,000 pops with the balloon solver, which is mainly designed for ceramic super ceramics, not for mauve class balloons. But with recent buffs, it is very good against mauve class balloons now. Or maybe it's always been very good, but who knows. So... With the dream team of, obviously, the glue gunner. And then we have the primary mentoring and radar scanner village. And then very early on in the game, in order to make this run even possible, the submersion support submarine. I don't know why two creepy idols, just so that it slows down anything that is not bad at uh, certain times within these parts of the track. Obviously, as you saw, I'm around 100, the snowstorm. I think that was a big help because of the permafrost effect and slowing down the balloons in general when the ice is on there. Uh, the balloon sabotoirs, sabotage, sorry, for the slowing down process so that the mobile class balloons and balloons in general are able to stay within the square for much longer so that this can be able to blob them more. And these overclocks for being able to increase the attack speed of the glue gun itself. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is one of those towers where I think the alchemists will actually do more harm than good. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what two mega pops you would like me to encounter next. Thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves, everybody.